Okay, my friends, today you should already be complete or getting ready to complete your character, your animation of your character. That is uh, animating him to, to go to jump up six frames to the top and then to descend six frames. You should be done making those frame by frame animations, what we call stop motion animation. So now what we want you to do is in your timeline, I want you to add four more layers. We're going to start with a fill layer. Then we're going to go to a text layer. Uh, underneath that, we'll have um, a tween layer, which is another way to create motion video. I'm going to show you that. And then lastly, a background. So we're going to start with the fill layer. So I click this this add button and over here in the inspector I'm going to go ahead and type in fill and that will name this layer the fill layer and I'm going to add a keyframe there so I'm going to draw on here and select my brush tool and then select my color uh, right here and in this case I'm going to have it around 40 and I'm going to go ahead and kind of draw within the lines as much as I can with my fill color and this is going to drop in behind my, my character when I let go. Watch what happens. When I let go with my mouse, it'll drop behind because it's underneath the character. Now, I wasn't too good with my fill, so I'm going to go and get my eraser. Let me increase the size of my eraser. And let me erase some of that fill so it doesn't peek out of the edge. You can see that. All right. So there I go. I've got now I've got uh, my background uh, of my character, fill selected. I want to do the same thing with each layer. Go from each layer, fill it, and go back all the way through. Okay? And then we'll proceed to the next layer. Right, so now we're going to proceed to the next layer, and that's going to be uh, the text layer. So I'm going to click on a new layer. I'm going to put in text here. Uh, and that's going to name my layer. And I want to create a keyframe. So I click on a keyframe. Text doesn't work like you normally would see it in a lot of other applications. There's a text tool right here. And I'm going to click on my screen after I click on the text tool. Got to delete that text. And I'm going to do... Uh, Water is life. So water is life. So I have this. Now I can't really change the font until I click on my cursor. And so I have to click off my text tool, click my cursor tool, and then select uh, my text. And over here in the inspector, it gives me all the options. I have my fill color, which I'm going to keep the same as my background color. I can put a line weight, a stroke on that. I'm going to put a darker blue on that somewhere here like that. I also get a chance to change my fonts. So I'm going to look for a thicker font, and I'm going to just select this because it happens to be right there. And I can change the, the font size. I can go to 40, let's say, select on that. Or I can kind of stretch, hold down my shift key, and I can kind of stretch it out. And I can put water is life. And I'm going to actually copy that. And I'm going to put a two text boxes here. So I'm going to change this one. That was water is life. And I'm going to go Winnemaconi, which is what we use uh, in Standing Rock, which is uh, indigenous to the Ibabwe, Ibabwe, Ibabwe uh, tribe, Minnewik. Lacone, Lacone. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. And so I've got that with that. So there's your text now. So now I've got the text. And you can line it. You can change it and stuff. The next layer is really quite an interesting layer. That's the, the layer we're going to do tween. So I'm going to add another layer. I'm going to call it tween. And I'm going to add a keyframe at the beginning. And then after, now that I've got a keyframe in the beginning, I want to animate rain going down. You can draw a car and have a car going across or a motorcycle or a person walking, or you can get a scene that moves, be, you know, we get buildings that moves across as if the character is traveling. But I'm going to be using rain. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to go get my brush again. I'm going to use the same color 
but I'm going to go down to one. I'm going to up this. This is a smoothing tool. I'm going to up that down up to 60. And I'm just going to start to draw. Well, that goes a little slow. So I'm going to go back down to 20 because that goes a little bit too slow. I'm going to, there we go. So I'm going to draw all these raindrops across my screen at various sizes. I'm going to actually have them go up over out because they're going to be dropping. I'm going to do them at various sizes. Big, little, all over my screen. And you'll see how I end up animating this. So I'm going to get, get a bunch of them done all over. Get some big raindrops, some little raindrops. And I'm going to create another way of animating. I'm going to show you that. And you can do several things with this. So I've got this tween uh, layer and I've drawn on my first frame, I've drawn the uh, raindrops. Now what I want to do is stretch this out to the length of my, my video or my, yeah, my video here on my timeline to 12 so that the, that, that goes all the way across. Now you'll notice now, if I go to frame two, I lose my text. It goes away. Uh, but I still have the rain because I stretched it. So let me go ahead and stretch my text this also. So that stays in the frame as well. So I have my tween layer and I've got the rain, but it's not animated. So I'm going to select my first frame. And I'm going to click on add tween. And that's going to create this dotted line across your screen. And then I'm going to go to my last frame, and then I'm going to move my tw my my uh, tween uh, layer and move it down. And so now that I've moved it down, I get this arrow at the end. And if I go ahead and I play this, you'll see I've created this motion video, and that's that's or, or this motion tween. So that's really cool. And you can do lots of different things. You can change the size of them. I can make, in the end, I can make the raindrops bigger or I can make them smaller. Let's see here, if I click on that, I can, I can make them bigger so they actually enlarge as they go down. So if I now animate it, they go from small raindrops to big, like they're coming right at you. So you can play around with, with all of those aspects. I'm going to go ahead and keep it the same same size. Now, the last thing I want to do is I want a background layer. I want to put something in the background. And I'm, I want to say I'm a little bit lazy. I'm going to find a picture. And I'm going to go over here. Let me get this out of my way uh, to my asset library. And I'm going to click on upload assets. Let's see if I can, there we go. And that's going to give me a way to upload a background. I can go to Google and find it, download it to my computer, and I can upload it here. Now I've already uploaded one and I'm going to say, let's see here, it's, which one is these am I going to use? I've got a couple of images. Let me try this image. I think this is, so I have this image. I've got to go ahead and put my, my cursor in the first frame. And in the and I got to create a keyframe. Let me move this. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can upload this so you can see it better. There we go. So I'm gonna in. I got a new keyframe in my background. I'm gonna go ahead and get. Uh, which one is it? This one, I think it is. I'm gonna add it to my canvas by clicking here. And it's a little bit large. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my cursor, select the outside, hold down my shift key to keep the proportions. And then I'm gonna reposition it and shrink it so it fits into my, uh, onto my canvas. And I want it to all, I want it to be just, so the whole thing kind of fits there. And I'm, I think I like that. Now the one last thing I wanna do is, you can also change the opacity. I'm gonna change the opacity a little bit bring it down to like 64. And so now if I look at it, I got to do the same thing here. I got to extend it all the way across and now I can preview it. And there's my animation. And that's, that's it. So 
So now the last thing you want to do, once you've created your four other layers and you've got your character animated, the net last thing you want to do is save your file and it will save it in what we call a dot wick. It's going to give it a name. In this case, it's Mr. Frank's squash and stretch. And you can see the extension is dot wick. I'm going to save it to my hard drive and then I'll go ahead and save it. And then the last thing you want to do is export it. You want to export it as a GIF file stretch and stiff GIF. And I'm going to export this as a GIF file. It's going to compile the frames and it's going to download that again to my download folder. Once that is complete, I can save that. Uh, then I, what I want you to do is I want you to upload. Let's diminish this. I want you to upload it to the classroom.